This is Roly Poly Habitat Part 2. Finding Roly Polies and keeping them healthy. I want to add a little water to my habitat so I can make sure that the soil is moist. However, I poured a little bit too much. I can see that there is standing water and I don't want that. Even though I poured too much water, I don't have to start over. I can add more soil, which will soak up the water. I'm going to make sure to mix in that new soil. I don't want to just drop it in there and hope that it'll do what it's supposed to. Because I'm going to be adding roly-polies to this, I do not want any standing water that the roly-polies could drown in. It looks like it is mixed up well and we're going to find some roly-polies. I want to look for my roly-polies under places that are moist, cool, and dark. A flower pot is a perfect place to find roly-polies. I found about five or six under just this flower pot alone. Under a brick is another good place to find roly-polies. At first I didn't think I'd found any, but upon further inspection I found just one. I also made sure to put the brick back where I found it. You can also look under rocks to find roly-polies. That one wasn't moist enough, so I didn't find any under it. The next rock was stuck in there really good. I don't think I would have found any roly-polies under there. The third one was a little better, but again, no roly-polies were found. I looked under the recycling bin and was excited to see something moving. Eek! They were spiders! I saw dripping water and remembered that roly-polies like moisture. However, this dirt was too wet and all I found were some little worms. Again, I made sure to put the rocks back where I had found them. I tried under a larger rock and found another four or five. I already had enough roly-polies, so I let those ones stay where they were. The roly-polies really seem to be liking their new habitat. I see one just there on the left. You can see on the bottom, some of the water has condensed and is on the container. This is because of the really warm weather we had. I showed you where to find the roly-polies. Now I'm going to show you the kinds of food they can eat. When you first start your habitat, you might not have all of the materials. Uh, one way that you can start out is by doing cardboard. You want to make sure it's a little bit wet, okay? And you're not just going to throw an entire piece of cardboard in here. Uh, we want to make sure just to put in a little bit. They will all eat off of it for now, but it's not something good long term. I have other materials right now that I'm going to use, so I'm not going to use the cardboard today. One thing I can use is a potato. They will live off of fruits and vegetables, leftover pieces. I'm not just going to toss the potato in here. I'm going to cut off little peels of it. Before you do any work with a knife, you're going to ask your parents first and get their permission and have them supervise. With my potato, I'm cutting it into very small, thin pieces. If you don't have potatoes, don't worry. Roly-polies will also eat leaves, grasses, carrots, apples, tree bark, plant roots, and lettuce. They'll even eat fish flakes. I want to make sure to wet a paper towel and put it into the habitat. It's important to use fresh water that is room temperature or lukewarm. Remember we talked about the spray bottle? You wanna make sure that you're spraying the habitat, not directly spraying the uh, pill bugs, the roly polies, because we don't wanna hurt them at all. So we wanna spray around them in the area. See? and just make sure that it's watered enough that there's enough moisture for them. Uh, remember, they're crustaceans, so they uh, get their water through their gills. We don't want to put too much water so that it's standing, like I showed you when we were finding our pill bugs, because then they might have a tendency to drown. Um, I'm using 
plastic covering to put over top of it. You don't have to use saran wrap. Uh, if you have a plastic container with a lid, you could poke holes in the top of it. I'm going to poke holes into the top of my plastic wrap. We're going to use the saran wrap so that our pill bugs aren't climbing out of the container. Um, and also to kind of keep that moisture in there. If we're in a dry place, we don't want it to dry out too quickly. Now you are ready to take care of your roly polies. Remember to spray in water every day and check the food. Remove it if you see any mold.